fantastic thing about this immigration program is that it is a PR pathway. You are not required to have um, an express entry. This particular program, you only need a CLB5. So meaning that if you have a CLB5 in your language testing, you know, you are eligible to participate in this program. In today's video, I'm going to be going over, you know, all the necessary information about this particular program, the requirements, eligibility criteria, and every other thing that you need to know. And of course, as I usually do, I will be dropping some useful links in the description box that will help you further in sharing more information on this particular pathway that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. I usually advise that you take time out to read through those um, informations that you can find in those links because these are the informations that can be accessible to everyone and it can be found on the IRCC website as well. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Funke Shii and on here I basically share with you how you can actually do it yourself to immigrate, travel and you know settle in a new country and especially do a lot of videos you know pertaining Canada because this is where I reside in and as much as possible you know I try to share with you some other information on how you can immigrate abroad basically so um, you want to make sure that you keep it locked here and watch some other videos. The program I'm referring to is the Atlantic Immigration Program which previously was known as the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program but this is now changed and is referred to now as AIP so the AIP is more of an employer driven program basically to help a lot of employers in for Atlantic provinces to actually search for qualified talent outside Canada to fill all of these positions. Now, the participating provinces is New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia. So these are the four participating provinces that have been mandated to carry out this particular immigration program. And the fantastic thing about this immigration program is that it is a PR pathway. You are not required to have um, an express entry. This particular program, you only need a CLB5. So meaning that if you have a CLB5 in your language testing, you know, you are are eligible to participate in this program not to worry we're going to get to that part of the video where I'm going to be sharing with you the required documentation what you need to have to actually participate in this program so we're going to be looking at some of the eligibility requirements you know the people that can actually apply for this program so number one if you are a skilled worker you are required to have work experience and work experience a minimum of one year so if you are an international graduate without a work experience you are eligible to apply for this program i'll be dropping all of the relevant links in the description box for your personal read the second is you must meet the educational requirements so if you are an international graduate that had just recently graduated from any of these four provinces of course you are required to have a form of certification either a trade certificate an apprenticeship certificate a diploma certificate a degree certificate and the likes that way it shows that yes you actually schooled and you had graduated it's just normal but for the skilled worker you also know how it goes you should have your educational certification and like i always mention you know whatever certification you have be it um, a diploma a degree ensure that you know you do an educational credential assessment in my previous video i had shown you how to actually get this assessed using wes which is popular you know among a lot of people that are looking to immigrate or that had just recently you know migrated to another country so wes is one of the credible and most popular um credential assessment um, organization so i just usually advise that you you know watch that video see how it is done everything is done digitally but you may experience some form of delays which it really depends on your institution just always advise that it's important you get your credentials assessed on time so that 
you don't encounter any form of delay especially when it comes to participating in any of these immigration programs number three is you having your language access this is actually a proof you know for the immigration officer to verify that you can actually communicate effectively in this country that you're planning to immigrate to if you can speak english or french or both it's important you have your ielts done or your you know tef that is for those that can speak french you know and once you have the certificate it makes it super easy the interesting thing is that for the english language assessment the canadian language benchmark is five especially for people that fall under tier 0, 1, 2 or 3. But for those that fall under tier 4, you are required a CLB of 4. So it's important that you submit, you know, your language test result and this needs to be obtained from any of the designated language organizations the popular ones that we know is british council you also have idp and the likes so how do you actually you know get started with this program first of all you need to have a job offer i know a lot of you guys will be like oh my god job offer again oh yes you need to have a job offer but the fantastic thing about this opportunity is that there are lots of job opportunities lots of job openings in these four provinces and i'm going to be listing all of the links the job links you know for for these four provinces in the description box there are tons of opportunities that you can apply for so far you can put together a good canadian resume and also an intriguing cover letter that highlights your work experience your skills and of course you mentioning the values that you're going to bring into that company it will give you an added advantage to have your foot in the door let me give you a look down on how it works from the employer standpoint as soon as the right candidate is found to fill that particular opening the employer presents the candidate with a job offer and the candidate must at least meet the ai pre eligibility criteria once that is done there will be a settlement plan for that particular candidate with an english or a french settlement agency recently in one of my very old video uh, where i spoke about how you can actually get settlement support in saskatchewan if you haven't seen that video i'm going to place it in the description box on that video i had a panel of five people from iws which is the international women of saskatoon and basically they provide settlement support to families to individuals so this after now if you haven't seen that video i always encourage please try and go see that video after now so once the certificate is approved by the province the endorsement certificate will be sent to the candidates and then this particular candidate can use that to apply for permanent residency right away that is exactly how it works so the time frame for the permanent residency application for the AIP is about 12 months after receiving the endorsement certificate the candidate will need to apply for a permanent residency and you need to attach there all of the required documentation from your educational certification to your language you know certification to your work experience the police report just to show that you do not have any criminal charges against you in your home country and every other type of certification so IRCC reviews this particular application and then if you are found successful you will be approved for confirmation of permanent residency but while this is ongoing because it takes 12 months to actually process this particular PR for the AI program you can simultaneously apply for a temporary work permit because you already have a job offer from either of these four provinces and the fantastic thing about this is that you and your family can actually come into Canada and land as a permanent residence so this particular immigration pathway is a permanent residence immigration pathway and it, this is something that a lot of people have been able to successfully land a job in any of these four provinces and actually you know become permanent residents through this route so is proof of fund required for this program when it comes to proof of fund at least you should be able to show that you have some money to cater for your needs especially when you land so i'm just going to show you quickly 
so this is what it looks like and if you ask me i think this is something that is actually obtainable and it's not far-fetched at all so some important document that you need to have apart from your passport is your eca you also need to have your language credential police certificates and the likes but i think this is a fantastic pathway just to kickstart your dream of becoming a permanent resident here in canada feel free to drop your contributions your questions and your comments and don't forget to smash the subscribe button in case you're new here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video to someone that needs to know i'll see you in my next one till then stay blessed and have a good one goodbye